everyone Claire here and today I've got a haul for you and this is what I got on Saturday from the Harrogate Rock and Gem Fair so it's uh, unfortunately it's, it's not like a massive show I mean I'd love to go to the big Tucson Arizona show one day but that's not gonna happen not this year anyway <laughs> so not next either probably so I'll start off with what I've got and I apologise for my voice ahead because I've also got show logo it seems from the trade show on Sunday. So this is what I got on Saturday. This is petrified wood and this is from Afghanistan. I think it was Afghanistan, might be Morocco actually. But look at that, look how polished that is. And you can see that it's actually just a chunk of wood, a slab of wood. And I got this one as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think I'm going to set them in silver. They're going to be quite big pieces, I think. I might put them on a talk or something like that. And from that place as well, I also got some copper from Michigan. And it is really strong, but it's that's what copper looks like in its natural form. And this particular one has got still got the ore attached to it as well. The well the rock that it comes from. I thought that was a really interesting piece. Not entirely sure how I'm going to set that, but it wasn't expensive at all, so I thought I would give that a try. So these were both from the Lapidary shop in Stuck. Okay, uh, the next thing is all from um, a shop called CJ Beaders. And I have bought from CJ Beaders before. They have pretty much everything that you could ever possibly want. They're an amazing shop and lovely people as well. So I got some collapsible eye needles, some long ones and some short ones. I'm going to give them a go on my jewel loom. And then I got some beads to play with as well. So I just got some size 8 and I got two of the same. So I got gold lined and brown iris. I'm gonna focus. There we go. And these are my Yuki. So I thought the holes on them are big enough for me to faff about with and play with on the jewel loom. And then I got some of these really cool um, check triangle beads. And again, I got iris brown and metallic flax, which is really nice. And then I got some, uh, they call these dragon scale beads. I got a copper rainbow and metallic mix. And I also thought that they'd be really cool, maybe sticking up from a bracelet or something. Do it on the jewel loom. So that's all stuff I got for the jewel loom. And if you don't know what a jewel loom is, look back on my videos and you'll see that the lovely jewel who invented it actually gifted me one not so long ago. So looking forward to playing with that. Um, okay. Now the next shop, they didn't, they never put in a card, but uh, we call these the. Um, the budget shop where if you've got a few quid left you always go because stuff like that is just like a pound so that's a retile quartz and 
and the pink one is do light and then I got a matching set of lapis well I say matching it's kind of matching it's got a few little flecks of gold in don't know if that will show there you go beautiful pieces of lapis figure I'll either make a necklace and matching earrings or make just put them like that on a necklace so that was from one shop I was well coppering up by the time I got to the end <laughs> got to that one um, and then there is um, always a, a charity shop and they didn't give me their card either but all of the everything that they sell is for is goes to a children's charity all of the profits 100% goes to a children's charity they just do it for a hobby now so i got some real sapphire chips all different colors there's some of the blue some green some red orange yellow sapphires most people think sapphires are only blue they're not sapphire has a wide spectrum love these these are gorgeous chips i'm going to try setting them in metal clay and firing them because they're untreated chips they will be able to fire perfectly fine without shattering or damaging them and i also got these from that shop these were very inexpensive and they are beautiful geodes smaller ones than what I usually get look at that see the shine so I got five of the geodes ah, you can see the crystal shining inside they're gorgeous not entirely sure what I'm going to do with them we'll see I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with anything when I buy it but I like it so I buy it I think they were only a pound each so I'm pretty much inexpensive again and this shop um, they didn't put their card in either, I can't remember what it's called, but it's usually an older gentleman on the shop, but uh, he wasn't there. And this is called Peacock Stone, and it is actually stone, but it shines like the colours of peacock. Isn't it gorgeous? There you go, look at the blue on that side the blue and the purple it's really cool stuff never had it before again they were very expensive chunks but very inexpensive chunks so I got a few to play with doesn't matter if you break them if they're, if they're cheap does it and it's always nice to try Okay, this next selection was from one that I've not seen before and this is Terra Bella Gems oh they have some amazing stuff I wanted so much so much but I didn't I got a two this was an expensive shop but you know you get what you pay for with the gems so I got two desert druzies. And it's really hard to show the shine off on a druzy. But they're nowhere near as nice as the ones that Richard Gunter gets from Green Art Jewelry. I would kill for one of his, but his are a lot more expensive. But if you, if you know his work, you'll see why. 
So they're the two jerseys that I got. And then I got this other one called Ashrolite. Ash Astroflite. I can't read it right in. Is it a T or a P or a H? Ashrolite, I think. Is it gonna focus? There you go. Sorry, my nails are disgusting at the moment. Astrofolite? I don't know. Anyway, it's this stuff. They had some which was completely cabbed and polished, and then they had what is classed as raw. So, me being me, I got a chunk of the raw. And look at that. Can you see that bronze flash all the way through? Isn't it gorgeous? Can't wait to set that into something. So there was the um, quite expensive cab shop. They had some really unusual cabs in that shop. Well, stall shop. I'm not sure what you'd call it. They're absolutely gorgeous stuff. And then we've got my favourite guy, the fossil guy, which is Vara Fossils. And he makes some amazing fossil cabs. So I got some fossilised wood. And these ones are, look at that, absolutely beautiful fossilised wood. I really like this dark red one. It looks brown, but it's actually red. And then this one is a frostily marble from County Durham. And you can see it's got something fossilized in it which is just a beautiful piece and this is um, Abingdon coral fossil which is uh, from Oxfordshire It's um, a sandy colour. Looks quite brown on camera, sorry. And I also got these from him. A couple of bigger geodes. Oh, that one's shining lovely. Look at that shine. So I'm going to set them into pendants. Again, set in silver. But then I had this um, really strange amethyst points. And they look like they're actually coated with something. But they're not. They're tainted with platinum. And when they've when they've grown, they've had platinum around them, and they've sucked up some of the platinum, so they shine like this. They are amazing. Let's see that side hasn't got any of the platinum on it. Just that side. Ooh, it went on camera then. And as you look through it, you can see the platinum come into this side on that particular one. These look so much better in real life. These were very inexpensive. 
for amethyst points. Oh, my focus. But they are absolutely beautiful. And that oily slick shine will never wash off because, like I said before, it is natural and it is not coated. Okay, and the last lot of things I got from the same gentleman I got a couple more pieces of lapis and most people prize lapis for how blue it is but when it's got inclusions like this you can see it this one's got there you go. It's got like flecks of gold. Much more interesting, I think. And these ones are quite inexpensive too. And then I've got um, blue stone, which is from Stonehenge. So this is cabbed stone, which is found around Stonehenge. I don't know why it's called blue stone because it's actually green but it's a mossy green colour it's not coming up right it looks black on camera but it's not it's a dark mossy green colour it's beautiful so that's from Stonehenge then I have a piece of um, Jurassic coral from Scotland this is why I like Mark Vara because all of his stuff is all, well not all of it, but most of it is from the United Kingdom. Look at that piece of coral. I like how he's cabbed it and he's just put that in the middle. Makes it really interesting. So there's this piece of Scottish coral. And then of course I've got what I went for which was some more Marston marble. Which is ammonites that have died and been fossilised and they're only found in Marston in Somerset. And they are beautiful. There you go, you can see the ammonites. Absolutely stunning pieces. Marston marble can be very expensive. But I was quite lucky to get some smaller pieces. These ones that have got a lot of subject in them that are really pretty. So, um, quite inexpensive for what it is. And the last thing, the pièce de résistance, as they say. And the most expensive thing is Thomsonite. And I got this one from Castle Crystals. There you go, there's their shop. And they've got some really cool stuff. And this is it. Look at it. It looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. That's a stunning piece of stone. So what I plan to do with this one is I'm going to build a big silver talk around it and put other crystals and stuff going around it so it'll have all kinds of interesting pieces all the way around it and it'll go that way absolutely gorgeous so again that is Thompsonite with Stillabite 
and something else. And I'll cover that up because that's what I paid for it. <laughs> so that's what the bag looks like. It's got a very stable bag. Okay, so that's everything I got from the show and I hope you've enjoyed my video and sorry for the uh, focusing problems on my camera but I'll edit them out anyway so thanks for watching. Bye!